Hi, my name is Josh Zander. I'm the teaching professional here at Stanford University Golf Course and host teaching professional for My Smart Golf. Today I want to talk to you about how to hit the golf ball low. We're actually faced with some pretty windy conditions today. As you can see, my shirt is flapping all over the place. And when you're hitting into a breeze like this, you definitely want to flight your golf ball low. The other thing you want to do is, if the pin is in the back of the green, it's a good idea to fly it into the front third of the green and have the ball released to the back. Another situation where you want to hit the ball low is kind of in British Open conditions and, and Lynx style golf courses where they tend to put the bunkers on the sides of the green and you can run your golf ball up the front. Another situation would be if you have a low hanging tree limb and you want to hit the ball underneath the tree limb, flighting the ball low is a good idea as well. Probably the easiest way to hit the golf ball low is to take a longer club and grip down on it. So I've got two clubs here with me today. I've got my seven iron and I've got my five iron. As you can see, my five iron is one inch longer than my seven iron. It also happens to have eight degrees less loft than my seven iron. And this is key for this shot. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grip down one inch on my five iron. And now basically what I've done is I've put myself in a situation where I have a seven iron length club with five iron loft. Now all I have to do is make my regular swing and I'll hit a low seven iron. Another way to hit the golf ball low is to swing on a shallower angle. So if you imagine that I was hitting a baseball off like a little league baseball tee, I'm swinging the club around my body like this, I'm gonna to tend to hit the ball more on a line drive. So as you get over a golf ball, you can swing the club lower around your body. A lot of people like to call that a flatter type golf swing and the ball will come out low. I'll go ahead and hit one of these for you. As you can see, the swing was very much around my body and you can see I didn't even really take a divot. I just swept the ball because the angle of approach was so shallow I just swept it right off the grass. Another way to hit the golf ball low is to chop off the top of your backswing and the end of your follow through. You can almost think of this as if you were swinging inside your living room and your living room had a very low ceiling. So notice here, if this is my regular top of my backswing, I'm gonna go ahead and chop it off to there and then on my follow through, I'm gonna keep it low, below the height of my shoulders. Notice there's no recock of the club. That would make the ball go up too high. So, I'll go ahead and hit one of these for you. This is my five iron, playing it right in the middle of my stance. And I'm gonna chop off the top of my backswing and follow through. So there's a five iron that flew about 150 yards and never got more than about 10 or 12 feet off the ground. Another way to hit the ball low is to take your swing speed and slow it down. If you think about hitting a chip shot, like a little chip and run from around the green, the ball doesn't get very high. It stays very low along the ground. Well, one of the reasons it stays very low is that I'm not swinging with any speed, so I'm not generating any backspin on the, on the golf ball. If you go out to the driving range and you see a little junior, a little six or seven year old kid hitting a golf ball, they don't get it up very high. They don't get it up very high because they don't have a lot of swing speed. You see this with elderly golfers as well. They've lost a lot of their trajectory because they've lost a lot of their swing speed. So there's a saying out on tour, when it's breezy, like it is today, swing it easy. You swing nice and slowly, the ball will stay very, very low for you. You may be wondering why I haven't said, play the ball back in your stance to hit the golf ball low. Obviously, when you play the ball back in your stance, you're de-lofting your club, which is a good way to hit it low. But playing the golf ball back in your stance introduces some other angles that keep you from hitting the golf ball straight. Let me explain what I mean by that. I've set up a practice station here to demonstrate a target line and a circle representing the proper swing shape. When I play the ball back in the stance, and I'll exaggerate to make a point here, this would be like off of my right foot or my back foot here, you can see that I'm going to hit the golf ball as my club is coming from the inside. Okay. Now, when the club comes too much from the inside, it produces two golf shots, a push and a hook. Now, if you're looking to hit a low hook, this is a good place to play, put the ball back in your stance.
play it back in your stance, you can hit that low hooking shot. But if you're looking to hit it straight, the only straight ball you can hit is straight to the right, and that may not be very functional. So to review, we have many different ways to hit the golf ball low. The first one we talked about again was just gripping down on a club that's got less loft to begin with. So if you're seven iron distance away, take your five iron, grip down an inch, and just make your swing. You'll have a de-lofted seven iron. You see this a lot with two of the best players on the tour these days. Sergio Garcia and Anthony Kim like to flight their golf ball a little bit lower, and you see them a lot of times gripping down on the club to make that happen. I've even seen Anthony Kim hit low drives by gripping down on his driver. We also talked about swinging more shallow, swinging more around your body in order to flight the ball low. We also talked about simply chopping off the top of your backswing and the follow through, keeping that club below the shoulders. We also talked about slowing down your swing speed in order to keep the golf ball from spinning too much. And lastly, we touched on playing the ball back in your stance, which again is a good way to hit the golf ball low with the hook, but not if you're trying to hit a low straight one. Let me leave you with this last bit of information, which definitely pertains to low shots, but pertains to good ball striking in general. A good golf ball is struck with your hand in this position, so your trailing hand has an angle in it like this. That will obviously de-loft your golf club and help you hit it low, but also help get your divot in the right place, which is beyond the golf ball. So play around with these different ways of hitting it low. You can combine some of them. For example, you can grip down and swing easy. You can grip down and swing shallow. You can do a lot of different combinations. If you want to hit that low hook, play that ball back in your stance. Play around with them and see which one's the best for you.